What's up everyone? Alex with OK4 Drive and we're back. We got another vehicle tour for you today. Behind me we have a Ram 1500 with Alucab's full-size Alu cabin on a six and a half foot bed. This is a great intro build, nothing done to the vehicle. All the work has been inside the cabin and we're going to give you a tour. All right, cool. So we got the Alu cabin open. So let's go over it a little bit before we get into the truck. From the bed rails up, all Alu cabins are gonna be the same, no matter what make or model your vehicle is. Also, all of the sleeping areas are the same as the canopy campers for our mid-size truck. So just because you go with a full-size truck doesn't mean you're gonna have a larger sleeping area than you would if you got a mid-size truck like a Tacoma. Um, everything from the bed rails down is where it's different. The fit kit and the mounting plates that make up the rear of the truck. So let's get a little closer. The first difference you're going to notice between the canopy camper and the alley cabin is going to be the two doors on either side, which is awesome for access to your gear and fridge from the outside reaching in. There's also National Luna lights attached to each door, which makes for a really bright living space inside. On the outside, we have Alley Cab's 270 degree shadow awning that works just like it would on a canopy camper. Simply deploy it, pull it around, and attach it to the back of the camper. So at the rear of the truck, we have NOCO's Sure Power Plug. This is feeding a Yeti 1000X inside that powers the refrigerator and the lights. Below that, we have our gravity-fed spigot that's attached to Alucab's 13-gallon water tank. And over on the door, we have GP Factor's tailgate table, nice stainless steel table with a bamboo cutting board that also works as a great work surface. Let's go inside. Right now, we have the bedding pushed up out of the way. What's nice about that is you can leave your pillows and sleeping bags up there. You don't have to take them out just to put the bed up out of the way. I'm 5'11 for reference, and there is tons of room in here for three more people easily. So behind me, we have Alucab's 13-gallon water tank that is fed to the gravity spigot found on the back side of the truck. Below that, it's a little hidden by the fridge, but there's a Yeti 1000X that is powering all the accessories back here. So we're talking lights, refrigerators, and fans. I wanted to talk about the water tank one more time because you actually have two ways to set up the water tank when it comes to getting your water. This one is set up to do the gravity fed spigot, like I mentioned before, but it also has a water pump on the other side so you can set it up for when you're taking showers or washing dishes. It's really nice. And like before, you just flip the switch to turn on the water pump and then you have pressured water. Everything back here is being powered by the Goal Zero Yeti 1000X we have back here and controlled by this Blue C switch panel over here. This Blue C is set up to control the cabin lights, your fans, your refrigerator, and your other accessories. This panel has a 12 volt socket and two USB sockets. And what's really nice is this setup is plugged into the Sunflare 105 watt solar panel found on the top. So the Goal Zero is being fed by the solar panel the entire time. So this thing is never without power. And if you're gonna park it for a while, if you do have it in a garage, we have the Sure plug that you can just plug straight into it. That'll feed the Goal Zero as well. And that's pretty much a wrap of our Alley Cabin tour on top of a Ram 1500. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and subscribe. We got plenty more videos coming and more vehicle tours. We'll see you next time.